Before I took the course, my math anxiety was at a 10, and it's been that way my whole life. And I was really concerned that I wasn't gonna earn my degree. The statistics are staggering. College students continue to struggle in the traditional developmental algebra sequence, many never making it to college credit math courses, let alone complete an associate's degree. Last semester I experienced a lot of anxiety, um, kind of when I was, a lot of like the tests and the quizzes that we had in that class, we were thrown into like taking these tests that would pit us with these questions that I didn't really understand too much or these questions that were out of my comfort zone even from the class. I have taught a lot of Algebra 1 classes in the past and many of my students struggle with that course. Um, and it's not because they're not motivated students or don't have goals. A lot of them want to be nurses or criminal justice majors or want to major in photography and math just isn't their thing. Enter Quantway, a new math course that was first offered within SUNY in 2011. The course was developed through the Carnegie Foundation by mathematics faculty from across the country and was designed to address the issue of the over 50% of incoming students at the community college that require at least one level of math remediation. I see huge advantages. The, the course, as I, as I see it now as, after teaching it and then also listening to what some national uh, people are saying about the course, it really offers a, a very different pathway for students to get uh, through their deve developmental mathematics at the college. Faced with similar statistics at Suffolk County Community College, faculty were eager to learn about this new pathway and were excited by what they saw when they visited schools offering the course and Carnegie training conferences. Well, in a traditional math classroom, from my experience both as a student and as a professor, is that the students are sitting there kind of passively the instructor is talking at the board and they're taking notes. If they have a question and they're brave enough, they raise their hand. If they're not brave enough, they kind of just forget about it and maybe don't learn as well as they should. In this class, it's all kind of hands-on. I find it easier to um, figure out how I'm going to figure out what I need to do. Quantway is a new pathway, beginning at the developmental level for community college students. Targeted at students seeking liberal arts degrees in the non-STEM programs, this new pathway is an alternative to the traditional algebra path. The mathematics in the course focuses on quantitative reasoning and includes proportional analysis, algebraic reasoning, statistical reasoning, and modeling. It's helped me with being able to figure out problems differently and realize that there's different ways to figure out each and every problem. It made me think of math in a different way and instead of thinking of it as the abstract and then trying to take the abstract and put it to a common sense situation or a real life situation it helped me think about math in a different way and how to solve problems better. This material is developed through application-centered problem solving and lots and lots of group work. There have been times in class where I do not feel like I know what I'm talking about or I, I don't feel like I know what I'm doing. And the people in my group, they also don't know what they're doing. But when we start comparing our notes, start comparing and throwing out different ideas, that's where we find a solution. And through that combined brain power of all of us in a group, it really helps get to where we want to go to. Hearing different ideas and different ways to get to the problem was nice because then if my idea or my way of doing something was too hard or too complicated, I got an easier way to do it. You know, as a teacher, I definitely see things in the classroom within their problem solving techniques that I would not normally see in a lecture-based format. So it's very useful for me to see what's happening and I can evaluate students without telling them that I'm evaluating them. So it's very valuable for me in that I get feedback, I get direct feedback for the, from the learning process that the students are undergoing. I have had a student um, who really was very reluctant to work in groups for most of the semester. And when I talked to her about it, she just seemed very shy. She just wanted to kind of do uh, the work on her own. Um, but she had a lot to offer to her group. So I wanted to explain to her that it's not about her always getting information from her group, but about her being able to provide information to the other members and maybe give them a perspective that they weren't aware of. Students in the Quantway course work together to tackle problem situations that will challenge them, but will also be meaningful to their everyday lives. My professor was amazing. 
She was very good at pulling the, um, the problems apart and teaching us how to apply it to real life situations, which actually made it easier to solve. And it made sense to me as an older person who already has life experience with credit cards and paying bills and dealing with mortgages and loans and stuff like that. It made a lot of sense to me. I like the idea of incorporating math with a lot of real life elements like taxes, population density, um, credit cards and stuff like that. I think that's more interesting than simply going over these formulas and equations to things that I'm not really going to use too much. Students learn that they know more than they think they do about how to use mathematics and they work on building their confidence with quantitative information. Through high levels of engagement in class, regular work outside of class on problems explicitly connected to the in-class material both pre and post lesson, students will leave Quantway well prepared for the Suffolk County Community College liberal arts math classes, including statistics, as well as the introductory sciences and any other courses that traditionally required developmental algebra. It made me think differently and made me open up my eyes to a different form of learning math. For the student learning, uh, I think it definitely is a different type of learning. Uh, they have to be more, a little more intellectually um, uh, not you know, curious, but intellectually aggressive in the sense that they have to try different problem solving techniques. I'm not going to tell them how to do something. And so they have to try these things. So I think that their confidence becomes greater in the classroom through the semester. Their confidence in their own problem solving ability uh, becomes greater. Suffolk has run 20 sections of Quantway, titled Mathematical Literacy, MAT095, at the college over the three campuses in the 2015-2016 pilot phase. Hundreds of students have gone through the program. In the Quantway course, students are learning more than just mathematics. Students in Quantway build tenacity, good strategies, and an appreciation for mathematics as a tool for understanding life. I don't mind going to math class now. Um, I look forward to it. The things that I'm learning um, make make it easier. I'm definitely not stressed about it anymore. I really do enjoy the course a lot. There are times where I feel like I'm kind of backed up into a corner and I don't know exactly what to do. Um, but with the group work and with thinking about it more and using these uh, pro like proportions and stuff that I really have nailed down and really got a better understanding for, I feel like the class itself is really engaging. My overall experience with the course was that it was it was an eye-opener. It was very, um, it made me more confident in taking other math courses and it helped me to put the abstract to real life situations. I know every single one of my students names by the second day and I can't say that that's true of my other classes. I also know probably what they all do if they're working, I know what their majors are, and like I said, that's not something that is common in my other classes, just because I don't have that time to have that conversation with them in class, but all of those things come up as you're you know, talking about the lesson and talking about the material and you're sitting with the group uh, kind of one-on-one -on -one or two-on-one. Um, so I think in that sense, just knowing the students more it helps me to understand where they're coming from. It also helps them build a better relationship with me so that they kind of trust me a little bit more. They know that I empathize with them in a way that maybe their other teachers may have but just maybe wasn't as apparent to them. Um, so that relationship I think has been very powerful because the students have just had a little more uh, care about the course. They actually wanted to do well. They wanted to support each other. Um, they knew that they had the support for me as well.